Hello and welcome to another episode with me, Tentive Redster. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build an AND gate for my Log Logic Gate 101 series. So, I'm going to start building an AND gate now. What you want is three blocks across, torch on either end, a bit of redstone in the middle, and then this will be your output. I'll put it to a piston, as always. And then your inputs either go in the sides or in the front there. I'll see them there in the front again. Like this. Uh, let's switch out my buttons for levers. So currently Actually, this is the N end gate because the output's always on, so the output's always inverted. So that's the N end gate. So when you put levers on here, if I flick one, doesn't do anything. Flick the other one, doesn't do anything. If I flick both, then the piston goes down. So it requires this one and this one for the output to be off. You turn it into a normal end gate and not an end gate. Just destroy this one here. Redstone torch on the output, piston is off, flick this one, nothing happens, flick this one, nothing happens, flick this one, and this one, piston goes up. And gates are very useful for having um, two inputs required to carry out a single action. In my minecart station, you, it requires both the pressure plate to be down and the detector rail to have activated the RS null latch, which is coming up in the next video, for the uh, piston to push and minecart back onto the rails. So that is the end gate. Uh, my name is Tensei Redstone, thank you for watching, please rate and subscribe, and see you next time.